everyone, today we're going to be showing you a very long-awaited jailbreak. This is the Envision 7.0.4 jailbreak for iOS devices. Uh, before we get started and with anything, this is a disclaimer, we are not responsible for anything you do or do not do to your devices. Anything you do after watching this video is completely on you. We cannot be held responsible. So with that, the devices for the Envision 7.0.4 jailbreak are as follows iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, iPhone 5C. As well, the iPad Mini, the iPad Mini Retina, iPad 2, iPad 3, and iPad 4. As well, the iPad Air and the iPod Touch 5 are included in list of compatible devices. If you do not have these devices, this jailbreak is not for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, using the links below, uh, you will download the Envision Jailbreak app uh, and unzip it with WinRare or 7-Zip, whichever one you prefer, and go have it and have it open. Uh, I'll be using the iPhone 4S today, uh, my personal one. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click on Envision. We're going to click yes if you're on Windows 7 or however you need to do it. <clears throat> Envision will detect your device and will tell you whether or not supported. In this case, the iPhone 4S is on the list and you simply click the button jailbreak to begin. Uh, this will take some time for the jailbreak to get going, but once it does, it'll be underway. So we're going to check back and go on the next step once it occurs. And midway through, it will decide to reboot your device, in which your device, of course, will be powered off. Just let it do its thing. Don't interrupt it. Uh, it'll get to it when it's good and ready to. And as we can see now, it is turning back on the device as part of the reboot. So everything is as normal. No need to worry. And once your device is rebooted, you're go it's going to tell you to continue to unlock the device and tap the new Evasion 7 icon, in which we will see here. Go ahead and unlock, and go to wherever the first free space will be, is where the Envision 7 icon will be. Got a good view. All right, now zoom out. We're going to tap that, and it'll start running. And it will go ahead and continue the jailbreak. Just set it down and leave it there, and it will continue on its way. In which it will reboot the device again and continue the process. Alright, now that we're back, it's going to say to unlock the device, but it's still modifying at this point. So now that it's in the second reboot, it's rebooting once more. After the whole thing is done. And you'll be on the final reboot, where the screen will also say done. And once it reboots, we'll go ahead and show you that it has indeed, and in fact, worked. And the phone and the device is now jailbroken. As you can see here, it is in its final steps here. Now it'll go to the stage of calculating the offsets. And then setting up packages and setting up Cydia, it will continue with the boot, and it will reboot. Alright, and now you can see, Evasion says it is done, and when we go to unlock, and check our device, Cydia is right there waiting for us. And what we'll do from here is we'll click on Cydia. It'll prepare your file system. And your device may restart 
once it's checked in the file system, this is just a quick kind of refresh reboot. Go ahead and unlock your device again. Go back to Cydia. And pick what kind of settings you want. Uh, most everyone will go user, unless you're someone else, but in that case you know what you're picking. Go ahead and click user, and click done. And Cydia will load up as normal. And, and there you have it. Just like that, your device is jailbroken and ready to go. The biggest thing is to, of course, be patient throughout the whole jailbreak. Uh, resets will occur normally, um, but it will handle most of anything it encounters on its own. So the best thing to do is just let it do its thing until it seems completely ready, uh, as well as when restarting Cydia, don't get impatient, just let it run its course and it'll be good to go. As well, another good piece of advice is always back up your device uh, in case, and it probably shouldn't, anything does happen, your device is backed up and ready to go on a restore. So, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time.